Welcome back guys. Today's look is this super sultry, bold liner look. This Rebel Eyes look is sexy and edgy and I love how you can play it up by however intense you want to go. I'm starting off with a fresh, clean face and the first thing I'm going to do to prep my skin is use a cleansing oil. Now you guys know I love cleansing oils. This one from Bosha is the cool cleansing oil and it's just going to get rid of any makeup residue I might have on my skin at all. Next up is eye cream. The Rose Hydrating Eye Cream from Fresh is exactly just as the name says. It's super hydrating and all I'm doing is patting it on with my ring finger. This is gonna prep the eye area for all this eye makeup we're about to apply. Skin is prepped and now we're starting with the eyes. To prep my lid, I'm starting off with the Marc Jacobs Highliner in Blacker. So this is a little twist up eyeliner pen and what I'm doing is I'm applying a base of this pencil all over my lid. This is gonna make all the eyeshadows we apply really, really intense. This doesn't need to be a perfect application. We really want that smudged out coal effect. I'm also doing the same thing along my lower lash line, getting that pencil right in my waterline and just kind of smudging it into my lashes. For most of the eyeshadows, I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Palette number four. I love this palette. I'm starting off with this charcoal, charcoal, that's a tricky word, charcoal, <laughs> charcoal gray color. And I'm applying this all over, really, really packing this on. I want this color to be super intense. So you can see that I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush and going over it until I get it nice and dark. Next, I'm taking this mid-tone brown shadow, also from Makeup Forever. This is number 648, and using that as my crease color. So I'm using a blending brush to blend out the dark gray we just applied, smoke it out a little bit, and this is what's gonna give us that nice graduation between the colors. I'm taking the black shadow from the palette and I'm applying it in the outer corner of my eye to extend the shape of my eye because I'm kind of prepping the shape for that bold liner that we're going to apply and this look is really all about that bold liner. I'm just blending everything out so it all looks seamless. I'm going in with that medium brown shadow again from Makeup Forever and using it to blend out my lower lash line. That color is the base and then going back with the black shadow from the palette and smoking it out but more closer to the lash line. Taking the lightest color from the palette, I'm using that as my highlight color to highlight my brow bone. Next up, I'm using the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in Blacker. Now this pencil has such a nice, intense black to it. First, I drew a straight line across my lid, and then for the wing, I followed the natural angle of my lower lash line upwards towards my brows. Then I went in and filled. So you can make this liner as thick as you want. I really wanted this liner to be super bold, so I went pretty thick, and I just loved how intense and black this liner was. This look is all about layering to get that multi-dimensional effect, so I love layering the texture of the cool liner with the matte shadows. It just came together. I decided to get a little bit creative as well. I used a little plastic sheet that was covering the mirror in the Makeup Forever palette, and I used that to just kind of guide the wing and give it a really nice sharp edge, and it totally worked. And a final touch to perfect the liner, just take a Q-tip with a little bit of makeup remover and clean up the edges to make them super sharp and perfect. And that's how you get that really intense, bold liner look. For lashes, I'm using the Makeup Forever Excessive Lash Mascara and making sure to coat all my lashes, top and bottom, and then I'm throwing on a pair of falsies. These are from Makeup Forever. I love how this kind of just completed the eye look and it doesn't get more bold than this, <laughs> I think. I really hope you guys get a chance to try this out. I would love to see your recreations. If you do, make sure you use the hashtags trending in Sephora and Rebel Eyes. Now that the eyes are done, I'm moving on to skin. I'm using the Makeup Forever HD Ultra HD foundation with my Beauty Blend 
blender and the shade that I am currently using is number 128. I'm using this to perfect my skin and just make it look nice and flawless. Next I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer to highlight underneath my eyes. This is just gonna make the eyes stand out even more and I just kind of love how the eyes are super matte keeping that really nice matte texture and I'm gonna use that same matte texture on the skin as well. I use the Dior Show Brow Styler to fill in my brows, which is a definite must-do step for any intense eye look like this. Your brows need to be full and complete as well. And for contour and blush, I use the Rose Flush Palette from Lancome. This has a contour color, a blush color, and a highlight color, so it's very easy to use. I'm using the contour color first, just to create a little bit of contour around my cheekbones. And then the blush color is this beautiful flushed pink, which just went perfect with this eye makeup because it didn't, it was just very natural looking. So I think that's exactly what we needed for an intense eye look like this. For the lips, I loved the natural flush that my lips had when I just used the Beauty Blender to kind of wash them out of any color. And I decided to just kind of keep that vibe. I took a little bit of the highlighter color from the Lancome palette and put that all over the nude tone that was on my lips, which was just basically leftover foundation on my Beauty Blender. And that is it. That is the final look for the lips and the entire Rebel Eyes inspired makeup. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave me a comment and follow me on all my socials. You can also find a list of all the products used in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you again in another video very soon.